गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इंग्लिश ग्रामर लेसन नंबर सेवेंटीन फॉर्मिंग सेंटेंसेस व्हाट आर द सेंटेंसेस अ सेंटेंस इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट मेक्स कंप्लीट सेंस ऑल सेंटेंसेस बिगिन विद अ कैपिटल लेटर एंड एंड इन अ फुल स्टॉप Questions begin with a capital letter and end in a question mark. Yes, students, you have to remember this. The exercise A: rewrite the sentences and questions using capital letters, full stops, and question mark. Here, in first example, my little toe hurts. M is small there. Yes, so you have to write here M capital. Yes, because it is a rule. All sentences begin with a capital letter and end in a full stop. Yes, you have to remember the given statement is a sentence, so you have to put the full stop. and the given statement is a question so you have to put there a question mark yes so number 2 what is your name yes this is the question yes so first letter should be the capital and at the end of the sentence put a question mark then the third the boys are playing football first letter capital and the full stop do you like cake this is the question so the first letter should be capital and the question mark this exercise is easy here the first letter should be capital and the full stop next how are you this is the question so first letter capital and the question mark Ravi is my brother. Here also the first letter should be capital and the full stop. A sentence usually has two parts. The first part of the sentence gives the name of the person, animal or thing doing the action. We can call this the naming part of the sentence. The second part of the sentence contains the doing or being word and other information we can call this the action part of the sentence here the example the cook is making soup the cook is the naming part and is making soup is the action part next the cat is eating fish here the cat is the naming part and is eating fish is the action part next exercise b underline the naming part in red and the action part of the sentence in blue so the first one gina is listening to the radio gina is the naming part is listening to the radio is the action part the dogs are running in the garden the dogs is the naming part are running in the garden is the action part tarun kick the ball tarun is the naming part kick the ball is the action part the toys are in the cupboard the toys is the naming part are in the cupboard is the action part we went on a picnic on sunday we went is the naming part on a picnic on sunday is the action part the boys are playing cricket the boys is the naming part are playing cricket is the action part the baby is sleeping in a cradle the baby is the naming part is sleeping in a cradle is the action part the last my shoes are old and torn here my shoes is the naming part and our old and torn is the action part exercise c 
join the naming parts and the action parts to form sensible sentences first one the grass is wet every morning second the little boy was crying third leaves are falling to the ground fourth the crows have made a nest in the tree fifth our teacher is very nice and sixth aeroplanes fly in the sky yes students you have to practice and read the lesson thank you for watching the video bye bye